So this pen uh, has a infrared uh, signals. So it sends infrared signals and it, uh, it touches the panel and comes back and the camera is capturing the signal. So this is not plastic, uh, this is not plastic. It has a infrared, it touches the panel, comes back to the camera and the camera sends the signal to the processor and the processor is uh, identifying which part of the pixel it is and sending the information via Bluetooth. This is just a charging cable. Without this cable also this will work. This has a pressure sensor. For example, this is, this is the pressure sensor. Even if I press deeper, it's the same width because there is no pressure sensor here which sends signal to the tablet. But with the tap pen, you see, I'm writing softly, yeah, without pressure. It's so thin line. But I, I do the press. It's a thick line because it measures the pressure. It goes to the tablet and it reacts there. So this is the important thing. So this pen is uh, almost 280, uh, 280 euro because it has, a, as I said, it has a infrared, uh, two infrared beams and one camera to capture the beam and a microcontroller, Bluetooth to transmit everything. So this is already a very high tech uh, gadget. And also this is the only pen where you can make a square as small as five millimeter. I will show you. Oh, sorry. A square like this can be made only with a pen like this. Because if you use normal plastic digitizer, if you want to make a small square, it will just become a big dot. For example, it will become a it will become like this if you try to do the same with a, a normal digitizer. So whatever you can do with a paper and pen, if you have a normal paper and pen, you can draw the smallest box. And you can do the same thing with here. So you see how small is this? Still, it's still a, still a box. And second thing is, it doesn't have any parallax. What is parallax? Is there is LCD on top of LCD is this much layer of glass. So you think you want to make a point in this line, but LCD is just little bit the illusion the glass gives to the eye. So you want to make a point here, but the point goes two millimeter away. And for this one, you need to do calibration. By doing calibration, you can fix the problem with other pen and other tablets. But the thing is, the calibration is done for this person, for example. Yeah, if you use this calibration doesn't work because his style of writing is different, your style of writing is different. And again, if you do calibration in this angle and later on you want to use it in this angle, then it's it's not matching. But with this pen, there is no calibration needed because the dot patterns is already in the top of the panel. So if I want to make it touch this line, I try to touch the line and it touches exactly the line. So without any calibration. Now I'm coming to really one of the uh, highlights amongst this product, which we call it the electronic touch pen technology. But as, as usual, Panasonic is uh, in, in a technology company and we always uh, make our life uh, also a part in, in, in finding nice and catchy marketing words for, for great, great stuff to be framed. So what that is, is you know, digitizer pen, you know, a resistive pen, you know, capacitive pen. This is a completely new pen input technology. And it was jointly developed by Panasonic and Anoto. Anoto is a Swedish company specialized in converting handwriting into uh, digital data. But handwriting means paper handwriting. And Panasonic has the expertise in LCD, and touchscreen uh, productions and they put both strengths together and as a result uh, is, is this electronic uh, touch pan. So basically how it works is how it works is um, this pan is so some mini computer, some microcomputer is, is included if, if you like, some, some intelligence. When, when you leave that pen on, on the table, it it's goes automatically in standby. When you grab it, it's, it's powered up. And this pen has 
uh, two LED infrared uh, lights. Those infrared lights goes on, go on, on, on the uh, surface on the LCD. There is this dot pattern image, which lies on, on uh, which sits on the surface of, of the touch panel, and there's a reflection sheet. So basically, the infrared goes here, then it gets reflected, and then wherever the dots are, the dots are are impacting the reflection. Wherever dots are, you see uh, some some shadow points on the camera. The camera is 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 catching the pictures. In this dot pattern, each dot has a specific unique location and by this the camera can identify with zero, one millimeter preciseness, with pixel preciseness, exactly the location of your pen. And this is more precise than any other pen info technology out in, uh, in the market. And this uh, goes even further that this pen of course has 2048 pressure levels but also can uh, capture the pressure, the tile, the speed of, of your, so basically your, your behavior and your, your ergonomics, basically your biometric uh, uh, footprint if, if you want. So basically it's of course for natural handwriting and uh, about all the applications you touched on but also when we're talking about electronic signature, this pen is a, is a must. And this you can, can see here in another, another good example. You see uh, uh, the positioning or how we want to bring this pen to market is that we say it's like pen writing uh, style. And this you can see here is uh, uh, another good example how the pen with the camera identify the location of, of the pen with the unique and specific dot matrix which is on, on the surface of, of the SD. Sorry about a little bit techni technical. In the break we, we have also time to, to chat a little bit about it. But this, this pen, there, there is a lot of technology in, in that. And uh, I would say um, I make this, this table as well, and then we go to the to the live test. Is uh, this is when we're talking about a digitizer pen and our tough pen? We see it doesn't need any calibration. Yeah, it's uh, uh, the most precise pen in in the market, and it's also when you uh, say about thickness, a digitizer needs to have. Uh, this digitizer pattern, but also needs a digital uh, uh, radio module, which uh, we also don't need. So also it contributes to the um, form factor of the device. So now I think um, seeing is is believing. Also I must say it's um, it's a prototype. So you with me, everything now can can happen, but. Uh, So basically, this is uh, some uh, architecture sketch. Let's let's say, and uh, basically with the capacitive screen, yeah, I can make my my drawings. So I can uh, select also here the size, and when I get rid out of it, it's working. But then with the pen. Basically, I can make, and you see that depends on the pressure. You see the the thickness of of, of my drawing. So that's what I meant with, with pressure sensitive. And this is also a, a new level of, of pressure uh, capturing. Also, linear is also when I go like this. You see the correction. Basically, it's it it just capturing. Yeah. It's calculating back and capturing the, the real line. It's a, it's a linear uh, uh, algorithm in, included, which also um, brings you to really precise drawings. And when I go now to the sketch and say, OK, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at drawing, but when I say, OK, I don't know what I'm drawing here, whether that's a toilet or, or something, but 
uh, you see this also, I can draw squares on the smallest level, 5 mm in smaller squares, I can draw here in, into, into the sketch, yeah, and this uh, gives you a new level, new di dimension of, of, of my drawing.